Good morning. Welcome back to Fat Lady Chats. I just had some things I want to talk with you all about. Um, happy Friday. Um, of course, you all know I'm here. I'm from Georgia. And you know what's going on with the election. And for us, we had to do the recount three times. Okay. So this is the third time and the state is still blue. All right. And Biden, he, you know, he still won all the electoral uh, votes. So I see that President Trump is doing a lawsuit against uh, the state because um, he don't want the the state to be certified as far as that Biden won and he won all the votes sold out. Okay. Now, my biggest thing is that I noticed that he going to have that against Fulton County. Now, to me, it's almost like an inline racist thing. And the reason why I said that, because Fulton County, we all know, is um, it's a lot of people of color. Clayton County is also. And um, DeKalb County. Okay? Um, I... I I want to choose my words wisely because I, I know I have a lot of Republicans that uh, I'm friends with and they're also following me. So um, what I really want to say is that the reason why I, he don't realize is kind of like you're almost saying that fraud is in Fulton County. It's almost like, OK, like we are on the hand because there's most black people there. And. Just because we don't want you as the president again. Okay. It's a lot of reason why we don't want you as the president again. Um, we see what's going on in the world. And we are so divided. You, you didn't know bring us together. And I quite don't understand why you think that it is so much fraud in these counties. I want to get you to understand uh, President Trump. I, I respect anyone that is the president. That a lot of black people, black women at that, people of color women, went out and voted. I was amazed myself. I vote every time an election come in. I know some people that are mothers of color. That I was shocked to see, even on Facebook, where they had a little sticker on them, I voted. Because I know for a fact they ain't never voted. I, I have talked to they, they, they wouldn't even think about voting. A lot of things has happened, Mr. President, since you've been in office. And we have seen a lot of things. We've seen a lot of people get away with a lot of things. And as mothers who have children, if their kids have not done nothing wrong, we are tired of seeing our kids get killed for anything. This has been going on for generations. We in 2020, sir. And the racism has gotten worse where it's no respect at all. If a person was racist, you didn't really, really kind of know. They kept that to themselves. Now it's so disrespectful. You see, we, we get you and see it on camera. People video, no respect at all. So that's what happened, sir. People, color, women, all color. We got a lot of them went out and they hadn't voted ever. That's what happened. And I just wonder what is going on with your mental stability where you think that this going to, you know, get you back in there. This is our democracy, sir. And if they do that, that means we don't count. You're taking people voting rights away. So what scares me the most, and this will get me a, a lot of people who are scared of Democrat 
being as a president, what scares me the most, if you would have stayed as a president, how things have changed. So, people who have actually voted for you, who don't want to change, it's, it's scary because what are you saying that a certain race should benefit more than any other race? This is America. We are humans. We deserve to be treated fairly. Everybody, everybody do. Everybody. All across the board. That's what I stand for. The human race and everybody treated fairly. While you was president, I haven't I haven't seen it. Not one time. Now that's my opinion. I haven't seen it. But I did want to let you know that a lot of color people that are mothers, I'm not saying that the fathers. I know some of them did go out and vote, but mothers went out and voted. And they ain't voted ever in their life. But they went out and they voted this time. That's what happened, sir. And what I pray that God give you peace to do what you need to do and be an adult about it and move on. It's over. Stacey Abram has done it. Other politicians have done it. It's time to move on. Just move on gracefully. You still got your followers. They're going to still be there and support what you believe in. But it's, it's that time. You're setting an example for all young people, young kids. I wouldn't want my child, if she lost something and defeat, to be the way you're acting now, sir. We teach our kids, if you lose, figure out a way to jump back up to win, but still bow down gracefully and congratulate the person who has won, like every other president has done. So I quite don't get that part with you. Another thing I want to talk about is that I watched the news today and they were saying that it could be possible that if you don't take the COVID vaccine, your job could make you. If you if you didn't do it for your job, that you could be terminated. Now, before the COVID vaccine came out, I had read and I heard about that. And it was hard for me to believe that. But now, I do. So, I don't know how that's going to work. I'm hoping that that'll work out a little bit better than what it is. Um, but I know that my favorite presidents, President Bush, I know he was Republican, but I always knew he was a good man. Clinton, President Clinton, President Obama, and Mr. President Carter. He kind of from my new my hometown, you know, uh, where I'm from. We all know he's a great man as well. They're all working together. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Working together. We got a Republican working with all these Democrats. This is the kind of country that I'm proud of. It's all right to have disagreements and have different beliefs or different um, ideals. It's okay. But if you can come together as a human race and work together, that is what it's all about, sir. That's what it's all about. Um, that worries me a little bit. It should be a choice whether you want to take the vaccine or not. It shouldn't be where your employer have to, will make you, if you don't do it, then you'll lose your job. So that's something, you know, that I hope we all talk about eventually. Or we get that, I hope the employers can get together and do not let that happen. Now, 
Now, our, my favorite president, President Clinton, President Obama, President Bush, and Carter, President Carter. They all said they would take the vaccine themselves. Okay? I don't have no problem. If y'all going to take the vaccine, you, yourself, give me 30 days. <laughs> Let me see what's going to happen to you in 30 days. Then it's possibility I will go ahead and take it too due to my underlying health, my problems. But I want y'all to have a great weekend and happy Friday. Be safe, wear your mask. If you like what I'm saying, subscribe to my page. Hit the like button. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for listening to Fat Lady Chats. Bye.